All right, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if this is your first time, thank you for stopping in and I hope you find something that you like. Um, here recently I've been looking and exploring um, with the different urban legends and ghost stories of various countries and cultures. So far I've done Indonesia and Japan and I came across this one today, the top 10 scary Korean urban legends. I figured that'd be pretty interesting to do next. Um, I believe it's probably South Korea, though. We're probably going to be focusing on South Korea in this video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, or just leave an emoji. Let me know you're here. Please like and subscribe if you want to. If not, you don't have to. I completely understand. And without any more rambling, here we go. Top 10 scary Korean urban legends. Welcome back everyone to Most Amazing Top 10. It's been way too long since we've done a scary story kind of video on this channel. I was honestly struggling to find things that would creep you guys out and then I found some really creepy stories from Korea. Now I love Korea, I'm hoping to go there one day in my life, but these stories have me thinking twice. They are insane. My name is Danny Berg and I hope you guys are ready for the Top 10 Scary Korean Urban Legends. Now unless I mention otherwise, these are going to be from South Korea just for you guys worrying about the details. Starting off at number 10 now, we have the virginial ghost this is the term you subscribe those that's the ghost like kind of from um the ring isn't it that's what it looks like grudge type apparitions that you've probably seen in horror movies with the hair over the face usually dressed in white one day a man who lived on the top floor of an apartment building woke up to the sound of a knock at his door he uh -oh. lived alone and rarely got visitors he walked to the door and asked who's there after a few seconds, a voice said, count to 100 and don't make a sound or you'll die. He count to 100 and don't make a sound or you'll die. Those are pretty specific instructions. From the door and there was nobody there. He was still quite scared though and so he closed his eyes and started to count to 100 in his head. When he got to 49, he opened his eyes out of curiosity and there she was right in front of his face. <laughs> Next up at number nine now, we have plastic surgery. Now, plastic surgery is a big market in South Korea, and as such, horror stories have sprouted up around it. This story starts with a man sitting on an empty subway car when a tall, thin woman sits down in front of him. Her long, dark hair covers most of her face, but he can see she's wearing a surgical mask. As the doors close, he catches her eye. He smiles. She asks him, am I pretty? He replies, yes, and then she isn't that the same one that was in Japan also? That was like the, because I said that I, I thought it was like the Black Dahlia murder in California might have, you know, kind of inspired by it maybe. She starts to take the mask off. There's a huge wound from ear to ear, exposing yeah. her bleeding gums, teeth, and muscles. Am I pretty now? She screams at him. She takes out a scalpel and moves towards him. The doors open, and he runs for his life. Next up at number eight now, we have the organ thief. This is quite a modern South Korean urban legend coming from the city of Guangzhou. Screenshots of a text conversation between two friends appeared on Facebook there and went viral. One of the friends was warning the other to not take taxis there at night. They said that one of their friends got in a taxi while drunk. The taxi driver then put a needle in their neck. They lost consciousness and were defenseless. When they came round, they were bleeding from their stomach and lying in a field on the outskirts of the city. He was rushed to hospital where doctors found he was missing a kidney. The fear of these organ stealing taxi drivers became so much that city officials said it was actually affecting the taxi business in. Wow, it's actually affecting the taxi business. I think you've heard about those organ stealing rings in every country i'm not sure if i've ever read or that many real cases of it but i actually imagine it probably has happened maybe a few times but i don't know that's be interesting to look into in the city. All right, next up at number seven now, we have Dalgyal Guishin. This is what's known as a traditional type of Korean ghost dating back in legend hundreds and hundreds of years. It's notable because the ghost is said to appear with absolutely no facial features, no eyes, no nose or mouth. Some of them even lack arms and legs. They're often referred to as perhaps the most terrifying spirits in Korean folklore, as even just looking at one can cause instant death. All right, wow. next up at number six now, we have the back. The story goes that a married couple with a young son 
Ireland were always fighting every single day. After years and years of this, it got so bad that in a sheer rage, the father murdered the mother. He covered up the crime and nobody else suspected a thing. The only strange thing was the boy never seemed to complain about the absence of his mother. And so he asked him, son, why aren't you calling out for mommy? Most little boys would want their mommy to be with them. Tell me what bothers you. The little boy looked up and slowly replied, I'm fine. I was just wondering why you're always carrying mommy on your back. This <laughs> is one of many similar stories found across the land. That's a pretty good one. I like that one. I like that. Next up at number five now, we have Sesame Seeds. This is a strange urban legend that seems to scare people about coming into contact with sesame seeds. A girl had heard that taking a bath with sesame seeds in the water would be good for her skin. So that's exactly what she did. She sat in the bath for hours and hours. After a while, the girl's mother became concerned and went to check on her. When she opened the door, she found the girl was covered in the seeds which had sunk deep into her flesh. The daughter was crying and trying. That is horrific. It looks like some type of ticks or something. With a pick and oh, that is gross. Trying to remove them with a toothpick. There's one for any of you guys who hate the thought of holes in your skin. All right, moving on to number four now. We have the bathroom girl. This one is kind of like Moaning Myrtle from Harry Potter, but about a hundred times more creepy. There are stories that in some of the old Korean schools with their dimly lit bathrooms live the ghosts of girls who have killed themselves. It's said that she now haunts the stall where the event took place. How do you know which stall it is? Well, the toilets have been said to flush by themselves, the doors slam with nobody around, and sometimes you can hear her cry or even catch a glimpse of her in the mirror. The most gruesome by far though is that sometimes she is said to emerge from the stall and ask you if you will use red or blue toilet paper. See Japan had this one also but they were always in the last stall with the Japan for Japanese version. But there's something about bathroom ghosts. If you choose red, the ghost will then cut you open. If you choose blue, the ghost will suffocate you. I probably just wouldn't wipe. Next up at number three now, we have ghost money. In this urban legend, a member of the South Korean Mint went away on a business trip. During the trip, his daughter was abducted, murdered, and then dismembered. After a lengthy investigation, nobody was tried for the crime. It was believed that this lack of justice would turn the girl's ghost into an angry spirit that would seek revenge. Because of this, the Mint began to place images of her body parts and parts of her name on South Korean currency in the hopes that this would appease her. The Mint has denied all knowledge of this. At number two now, we have the Loan Shark. A Loan Shark is someone who lends people money, often illegally, at extremely high interest rates. Sometimes, if they don't get their money back, they take matters into their own hands. There's an urban legend from a small village in South Korea. Farmers there had to make a mass grave to bury cattle in who had died from disease. Not long after that, they heard a human voice calling out from beneath the soil. By the time they had dug through the dirt, the person buried among the cattle had already died. An investigation found that they owed a lot of money to a loan shark. This has apparently happened dozens of times across the country. And finally, number one now, we have... So that one could actually have happened. I could see that that one happened. Just chunk him over in the... He owed me a lot of money, so I'll just chunk him over there in the cow grave. Oysters. This is a really weird urban legend coming uh -huh. from the South Korean coastline. Apparently, one day a guy was walking along the beach when he slipped and fell on a sharp rock that cut his knee open. He washed it quickly and put a bandage over it. When he got home, it started to itch, but he didn't want to remove the bandage in case it just made things worse. He took it off after a few days, and to his absolute horror, tiny oysters just covered the wound. It turns out there had actually been oyster eggs on the rock he had fallen on, which had gotten into his wound. They were protected by the bandage and fed on his blood until they had rooted themselves in his leg. Yeah. That's pretty horrific. Yeah. That's pretty well, horrific. Guys, this has kind of inspired me to start looking into other countries' urban legends. I've heard Japan and perhaps Germany also have some scary ones. Would you guys like to hear them? Let me know. I'm Danny Burke. Thank you, as always, for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let me know what you think. Top 10 scary Korean urban legends. Are there any that he left out? Any that anybody else knows out there? Let me know in the comments. Also, just let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe if you want to. If not, like I said, that's okay. And thank you for watching. And have a great day. And don't forget to smile. Thank you. Goodbye.